the sunscreen that gives you cancer and not the sun. These chemicals are really killing. And, you know, but we don't know. The advertisement is such. You see these film actresses, these models on the television screen, and then they put this, like that. You also have a small mirror. And like that and go. Sun is the one that gives you the best vitamin D3. And you don't have to take calcium, you don't have to take milk, you don't have to do nothing. It's a sunlight. You know, we Indians are so lucky and blessed because there's so much of free sun. Sun is your health giver. Sun is the one that makes you live. And sun is the one which keeps you without any disease. Unfortunately, the industry has created a myth. Frightened people saying that, don't go in the sun, you will get cancer of the skin. So they give ladies sunscreen, another chemical to put on your body. Now we know it is the sunscreen that gives you cancer and not the sun. You look at nature. The, every animal, you look at a cow, a dog, a cat, they go like that and their back is open to the sun. I will give you a simple formula. If each one of us were to sit in the sun for one hour in the morning and one hour in the evening without any cover, dress cover if possible. Ladies can't do it very easily, but anyway, in your own home, if you can have some sun in the thing, you will get rid of about 90% of your illnesses. 90%, not 1 or 2%. Sun is the one that gives you the best vitamin D3. And you don't have to take calcium, you don't have to take milk, you don't have to do nothing. Sun gives you everything, keeps your bones intact, bones very strong till you die, your skin absolutely healthy, and don't apply any chemical to the skin. And if you want, you can have a little um, coconut oil on your skin when you sit in the sun, because you get better effect on the sun. And the sunlight is the thing that runs every single cell in your human body. Sunlight is the one that we all survive with. If the sun takes holiday for three months, remember, we will all be dead like the dinosaurs. When you don't have... A study was done in America of the 57 states. 37 states have got plenty of sun, where cancer is very low. 20 states, there is no much, much of sun. Cancer is very high. Cancer is cured by sunlight and not produced by sunlight. And don't get frightened because the powder company, the snow company, this, uh, the scent company, they all want you to believe that sun kills you. So you put powder when you go out. You put scent when you go out. And these are chemicals that produce cancer. You put this red thing in the lips. Can I tell you, ladies, what it is? It has got such a horrible chemical, which is a pro-estrogen. So what happens is after some time, your breast becomes bigger. Actually, now in England, the breast size on average has become about two sizes more. 36 has become 38. And eventually, you get very high incidence of breast cancer. These chemicals are really killing and, you know, but we don't know. The advertisement is such. You see these film actresses, these models on the television screen, and then they put this, like that. You also have a small mirror. And like that and go. What do the poor people know that it kills? You don't require that. You leave your lip on the sun. It gets a beautiful, nice color. And so nice that you look really so beautiful. Now, sunlight, scientifically, is the thing that keeps your cells going and not food. Food, of course, is needed for something else. But the sunlight keeps your cells growing. And when your cell gets diseased, like, for example, you have a heart attack. Now, we have, what we have done is we have devised a new small machine, which is almost like a cell phone, in which we have put a device which gives you sun's energy directly on the area. Because sun energy cannot come to a diseased cell. But this will give you disease cell directly there. If somebody has a heart attack, I put it on the chest. Within 48 hours, the man can go home. Somebody has a stroke, one side not there. I put it on the head and he can go home. So sunlight is such a wonderful medicine for disease. And sunlight is the best preventive for your disease. Do you get that?